I think it's uh, 17 seconds. You can hear JD say uh, 30 seconds in the background of the same video that channels like IFL are uh, reporting that Wilder has left JD's, and that's just not true. So I want to put that out there short and sweet to let everybody know that that's not the case. Those are words of 78 Sports TV as he sets the record straight that JD's has not left Team Wilder like IFL TV um, posted that he did. Um, so obviously he's still there. However, uh, based on if that's the only reason that he said that you heard JD say 30 seconds, we didn't see JD's. So IFL TV, they, they might have dropped the ball, might have. But IFL TV took into account or assumed that JD's is not there because no one has seen JD's. Okay, so if he is the head trainer, he is way back in the back and he's exercising something that he should have been doing when he was when Mark Breland was there that knew what the hell he was doing. So if Malik Scott is taking over, either he can step down as being the main coach, okay, or the head coach, and now he's just like a secondary corner man or something that's still in support of Wilder since he is still his management. See, it wasn't confirmed that he was just completely out of the team of Wilder. Maybe the corner of Wilder. Okay, so just for just for me hearing that, I don't know if that's necessarily him. It could have been him. I'm not saying that it's not, but what I'm saying, if only if that's based off the fact that you heard someone say 30 seconds, we don't see who was saying 30 seconds. You see what I mean? So if IFL TV reported that and jumped the gun, oh well. But that's the source that went out. Um what we see in what we see is what we believe a lot of times, right? Seeing is definitely believing. We haven't seen JDs. We haven't seen him really talk about JDs. He didn't mention JDs. He's just been mentioning Malik Scott. He was in the dresser room. He was in an empty room. Now he's in a ring. And all three times you've seen nothing but Malik Scott. No JDs, okay? The last thing I heard Wilder say of JDs is when he was on... Um, uh, his first interview in a long time with Brian Custer, right? And he was saying that um, he had a word with JDs, okay? Now, as far as I know, he didn't say he fired him, but he fired Mark Breland, which a lot of people, including myself, thought that was actually backwards because if a guy cheated you to that magnitude like you claim, the first person you want to fire is the guy that you let cheat you. The guy that you let another guy cheat you, that's who I would get rid of. But anyway, that's just me. But as of now, we still have not seen JDs. Not calling 78 Sports TV a liar because you would assume that he would talk to Deontay Wilder personally. But he didn't say that. He just said, as you can clearly hear. But okay, you can. we can clearly hear what? Are you saying that we can clearly hear that's, that's him? Did he say, hey, I'm JDs, the head coach or the coach? You know what I mean? But I don't know his voice like that. Maybe 78 Sports TV knows his voice uh, better than I have because he, maybe he's talked to him or whatnot. But he hasn't done interviews either. He was just always be in the spotlight. Remember, what? according to what Anthony and Mark Breland said, uh, uh, JD's was that guy that wanted the accolades of have, uh, getting all the credit of being the head trainer. He was always there at the media workouts. It was always JD's. Okay, so you went from always seeing him to not to that talking to by Wilder to not seeing him at all. All you see is Wilder and Scott. So if I have TV jumped the gun, they had pretty much reason to assume why, because we haven't seen JDs. Okay, and so if you just keep seeing this one coach, you know, out of sight is out of mind, people. You know, so the equation would be, OK, well, who is not here? We know about the debacle you had with Mark Breland. You've been with him 11, 12 years, got rid of him, whatever. But we don't know what happened to J.D.'s because we haven't seen J.D. So there's nothing explaining where this man has went. OK, so uh, that's just me counterpunching the um, the breaking news by 78 TV for him saying stop lying. Deontay Wilder did not lay, leave JD's. If he didn't leave JD's, okay. Um, 
but I would surely like to hear JD speak like he used to, unless he just backseated JD's. And then in that case, he might have not fired him, but he might have just replaced him and made him step down. So indeed, he did replace his ass. What does replace mean? Fire in a sense. He just didn't fire him completely. That's what I think. I think he made probably, this is what probably happened. Mark Breland's job, he gave to Malik Scott. And then since Malik Scott has more accolades because he's he was an actual fighter, he gave him more accolade, accolades and more control, more power over the whole situation. That's why now you only see Malik Scott instead of JD's. JD's is exactly where he probably should be, on the sidelines uh, cheerleading. Okay, so that may be the case. But anyway, that's my counterpunch to that. You guys tell me what you think about JD's not leaving Team Wilder, according to 78 Sports TV. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.